What makes Bravo so special is if you want to be creative, uh, besides all the ensemble classes, we also provide songwriting and music production course, which is as high as a, a college level if you really want to go into this situation. So if, if you want to be creative, want to be different, want to go to a camp rock, so this is the place to be. Like if you're a flutist, you just, most of the time, if you don't play in the orchestra or the chamber music uh, or band, you just play it by yourself at home. But in my class, like flutists, I will encourage the students play together, maybe play some duet, trio, quartet, and with a piano. And it's better for your intonation practice. And some of the woodwind players, maybe if you just play at home by yourself, some of them feel boring and some not feel inspired. But you work with each other, you will listen to each other. And I think it's the kind of ability to work with each other. And it's a very good basic thing for you to join in the orchestra and chamber or band in the future. And a lot of fun. <laughs> Well, first thing is, uh, it is fun and it is pleasurable and it is joy to play music. And the importance, I think, is to bring that out. Uh, one of the things that I always tell parents is that when they, if their kid says that they want to take a ceramics class, they don't make the kids practice making ceramics every day for two hours, but they do that with, with music. And what happens with time is that the kid hears every day, did you clean up your room? Did you do your homework? Did you finish your chores? Did you practice your instrument? It be, turns into that list. The key is to make it belong to, did you get to play? Tell me about what you played today. How was your games with your friends? How was your playing with your friends or something? I'm telling them, do something like have the kids play for you while you're washing the dishes or you're changing oil in the car, whatever. Because then the kids are not thinking of it as a chore, I have to do that. They're thinking of like, cool, I get to impress my parents. They'll maybe buy me something more out of this, you know. They, I think that's the this key ingredient as far as playing an instrument and the other I think that's really important is to get music involved in the house the listening to music in the background uh, it's not like we're expecting everybody to come into Bravo and be the next you know the next uh, rock star or the next classical master uh, of the world we want them to come in and enjoy the experience of music so putting music in the background, getting music involved and introducing the kids and the parents for, to a lot of different things, a lot of different styles, performing a lot and seeing other, perfor other performers as well, I think is the magic key to make that. We don't need to have somebody else, another great guitar player in the world. I mean, it's hard, for me, hard enough for me to get a gig as it is. So. <laughs> I think play with each other and also make them um, like a friend who can play together. I think that's uh, one of the trick too. Um, like my students before, um, I asked them to play do it together because if you don't um, do your part well, the other people cannot play. So I think that can be a motivation. Yeah, if, if the parents can find one style of music or one recording that piques the child's interest, then they can kind of fool them into other styles and go if you if you at least, at least the teachers we can fool them i say that i don't say that uh with bad intentions already but it we can say oh if you like this recording if you like this style you might also like this and and uh, you know it just goes from there you know they they explore other styles of music um, everybody's kind of alluded to it and i i really want to stress that too is playing with other people it's really the key it's it's when the kid feels that they're needed it feels that they're that they're a part of something and that's been the trick for me i, I mean it's no secret you guys heard i do a lot of string ensembles and things and i get a lot of kids who and, and you know i made that reference of playing in your bedroom by yourself but i get a lot of kids who do that and 
Um, the parents saying, oh, they're going to lose interest. They were really good when they were younger, and now that they're a teen, they don't want to do it. All of a sudden, when you put them in a group with a bunch of other teens, and they feel the energy that's coming from that, they're hooked, and they stay, and they want to be a part of it. You know what? <laughs> uh, oh. I, I, I do actually because there, I have, you know, I have frustrated parents and I have kids that don't want to practice and and it, the trick is, so we, we have a generation of young people, including myself, uh, we grew up with a lot of technology. We grew up with video games and actually Ori turned me on to this great app called Simply Piano and I'm not affiliated with it by any means, but it's a, a great app that turns learning piano into a game and it recognizes the piano sounds and it's, it's got the visual connection. A lot of kids have become visual because of iPads and everything that they see. So I think finding a way to link the technology into their learning process for me has actually had a lot of success in the last three, four months that I've been using this app for young people. So that's one thing that I that I found and also playing along to recordings and playing along with the music and seeing how their part fits with the the music itself because I think sometimes that frustration comes out of feeling isolated so helping them to kind of come out and see how their part fits into the greater picture. You hit the nail on the head man embracing technology I've also found that a lot of my students who, who just seem to really can't focus all of a sudden when you do a lesson for them um, either on YouTube or something, and you say, hey, check this out. I just did this for you. I'm putting it on there. If you've forgotten your lesson, come check it out. That way there, you, it's like almost like I'm teaching you again and again and again. Utilizing the technology and, and figuring out that they're going to do that. They're going to be on their phone anyways, right? They're going to be on their tablet anyways. So if you can be there too, that's another way to hook them in.